I never expected to be working on a personal project about my family, at least not yet. I, I guess I, as <laughs> I always pictured my, my parents um, being there forever. But when, when my father sat us down and told us he had stage four pancreatic cancer and my mother was already in treatment for stage four breast cancer, I, I didn't know what to do. I knew I wanted to spend time with them and, and be emotionally <laughs> available and a rock for them the way that I, I knew I needed to be. And I found that the only solution for me was if I was photographing them, I could be there. I, I think after the fact, I realized that I was using my camera as a therapeutic tool and, and distance. At the beginning, it was really easy for me to be photographing them. I just always had my camera with me. I was there and I was present throughout this whole experience. You know, like I was there with my father, I saw him die. And it wasn't really until my mom was dying that I started to feel this, maybe just feel the reality of it all. And I found myself sort of distancing myself from her. I, I looked at the photographs. I, I took far less photographs in that time because it was my life happening. It wasn't just a photo essay. It wasn't just a, a, someone else's project. It wasn't just my project, it was my life. <laughs> People in the photo world, especially photographers, understand the circumstance. Like when I was taking the picture, making the picture of my parents in chemotherapy side by side, I wasn't thinking there are my parents sitting there with poison being pumped through their bodies. I was thinking, wow, look at that, that light and the composition. Look at the symmetry. Like, why was I thinking like that? I was thinking like a photographer. And, and when I can have that reassurance and connection with other photographers who understand how I could possibly think like that, um, it's just been, it's been really helpful. If I had never photographed my parents, I don't know where I would be right now. It's been it's been a tremendous growing experience for me, and I've never had to be alone in this process. I have a brother and a sister who have been in many of the photographs, and this is also their story and their life. We are constantly finding ways to support each other as we are still currently going through this whole process. And I hope that my photographs have helped them in some way through this process in the way that it's helped me. I've been pretty lucky. We are a very close family. And that's a testament to our amazing parents that we had. And that's sort of a gift that keeps giving because they're no longer here. And once they were gone, our life continued, our family continued. But there's also this absence of them physically. And that was something that was very obvious in our everyday experiences, um, processing what had happened. And selling the house was definitely closing the chapter on the life that was lived in that, in that place, in that home. Sometimes people, for, you know, people in the photography world forget that this is actually my family and that I'm, I've been sharing the project as it's been happening. Um, so after my mother had died, some people would ask me, you know, what are you doing next? <laughs> and my answer truly was grieving and trying to piece together the last couple years of our life. <laughs> I'm human. I'm, I'm a photographer, but I'm also human. <laughs> First, probably.